with the Winkle, and today we're making a, a color crawl. Juliet, I know what you love best about the rain. Uh, when there's a rainbow, Ooh. right? Today we're gonna be looking at the rainbow colors. Do you know what the rainbow colors are? No. Red, orange, orange. Yellow, yellow, green, green blue, blue, purple. purple. That's so right. We have six. Six rainbow colors. Should we see what's in our kit today? Yeah. Okay. Paper towel, six cups, three color tablets, and one popsicle stick. This is gonna be so fun, Juliet. On top of everything in your kit, you'll just need a cup of water, and then we're ready to get started. Woohoo! Juliet, do you see this? Yeah. This is called a color wheel. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how this works. Okay, do you see what's at the top of our color wheel? What color is that? Red. Red, that's right. And if you go around, we have orange, yellow, yellow green, green, blue, blue purple, purple, and then back to red. red. This is exactly what we're gonna make today. We're gonna be making a color wheel. Juliet, do you know what the primary colors are? No. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And we have red, yellow, and blue tablets in our bag right here. Primary colors mean colors that you can't mix to get those colors. They just have to be true colors on their own. Yeah. So you couldn't mix any colors to make blue. You just have to have blue. Does that make sense? Yeah. But how do we get the other colors of the rainbow? Um, we can mix them. That's right, we have to mix them. So red and yellow mixed together make what? Orange. Yellow and blue mixed together make what? Green. Blue and red mixed together make what? Purple. That's right, and it just keeps going around. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, around and around and around. Do you see that? These colors, well, it says violet, but we call it purple. Purple, green, and orange, do you know what those are called? No. Those are called secondary colors. So we have primary colors and secondary colors. The primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. But, but why are they called secondary colors? That's such a good question, Juliet. They're called secondary colors because those colors are mixed, meaning we mix two primary colors to get one secondary color. So with our color wheel today, that's what we're gonna do. We have three primary colors and we're gonna make secondary colors with them. Woohoo! Juliet, we're gonna start by getting three cups out and making a triangle. Can you make a triangle like this? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to make a triangle with cups. It is. Good, so you have your three cups in a triangle and we're going to put one color tablet in each cup. <laughs> so this one that looks like dark purple, that's actually going to turn into red. So we're gonna put that on, our, on the top of our triangle. And this one, it might be a little bit dirty looking, but it is yellow. We're gonna put that over here on the right. So this one that looks like blue, it is blue, and we're gonna put that here on the left. Okay, now take your cup of water, and you're going to fill these cups three quarters full. That much? Three quarters means not quite all the way to the right top. There? Yeah, that's really good. It's gonna be a little bit fizzy. Yeah. Fill all of the cups, three quarters cups right full. Right there? Yes, that's great. And then the blue. Right there. Hey, you have the rest of the water. Barely enough water. Wow, that looks so pretty. It really does. So what are these? These are called the primary colors. Yep. Red, yellow, and, and blue. blue. Okay, Julia, let's give our colors a little stir, okay? We're gonna start with the yellow. Good, give it a good stir until it's nice and mixed. Is it mixed? I feel a little um, the things on the bottom. A little crunchy thing in there still. We want to get that all crunched up and nice and mixed. Okay, okay let's go over to the red. red. Stir that up. Okay, done with mine. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to go over to the blue and stir that up. Okay, this one's all done. Look what I made on our stick. Whoa, our stick is all blue. Okay, just set your stick aside. We don't need that stick anymore. What else are we going to do? Well, now we have to make the secondary colors. Woohoo! Yeah, but this is the science part of it. Are you ready to listen? Yeah. Okay, the science is called capillary action. Can you say that? Yeah, capillary action. 
action. Nice. It's kind of hard. It is. What I mean by that is we're going to be putting this paper towel into one of the primary colors okay. on one side. Okay. Don't do it yet, just wait. Okay. And then we're going to be putting the other side of the paper towel into an empty cup. So when the paper towel is dipped in water, some of the water sticks to the paper towel and it gets wet, right? Uh huh. There's a force between the water molecules and the molecules in the paper towel. Both of these sticky forces, adhesion and cohesion, both of these forces cause the water to move up the paper towel and then... Down the paper towel! Because what brings you down? Gravity, uh -huh. right? Okay, so it's going to cause the water to come up this way and down this way. Yes, and that water is actually going to siphon into our empty cup. Can I try it right now? Yeah, so let's set up our color wheel. Does that look just like our color wheel that we looked at before? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're gonna have one empty cup between each primary color. And now we're going to make secondary colors. We're going to fold one piece of paper towel in half, long ways okay. like this. Can you do that? Yeah. And then another time in half again. Whoop. Good. Now make sure they're nice and pressed together because you don't want a lot of like fluffiness. You want it pretty close together. And then I want you to kind of pinch it right here in half. It's going to kind of make like a tent. Okay, see that tent? Uh-huh. Okay, Juliet's isn't quite folded evenly, so I'm gonna help her a little bit. Okay, because it's kind of hard folding for me. Now fold it like a roof. Uh, there you go. Okay, so which color do you want to start with? Um, I'm gonna start with the blue. Okay, well, we're gonna put one side in the blue and another side in the empty cup right next to it. Do you see that blue crawling up the paper towel? Uh-huh. You want to make sure both sides of the paper towel are in... It's kind of like oh, worms. It is. It's crawling over to the other side. Do you see that? Uh-huh. That's going to siphon some of the blue water into this empty cup. So what color will be in this empty cup? Blue? That's right. But we don't want blue in that cup, do we? We yeah. want purple in this uh -huh. cup. So how are we going to get purple into that cup? I don't know. What makes purple? Red and blue! Okay. Oh no, it's almost to the bottom. Oh, let's hurry and put our paper towel in the red. Okay, so we're going to fold this paper towel. We're going to put one in the red. Oh no! And then one in the empty cup. You want to make sure that paper towel is all the way at the bottom of the neighboring cup. The blue is crawling up and over and the red is crawling up and over and that's going to make... Purple! Yay! So two primary colors are going to make secondary color. <gasps> yes, they're going to mix because Juliet, that, those water molecules are adhering to the paper towel and they're crawling up. Gravity is going to bring them back down into the cup. Wow. I know, it's so fun. Should we try doing the other ones? But why do we need more paper towels? Because we have more colors to make. Okay. Okay, so let's do it. I know how to do it because I already did it. Yeah, because you've been doing it and you're good at this now. Okay. Uh -huh. Gonna fold it nice and tight, crease it in the middle. Now we're gonna put it in the red. Put it in the red. And then the empty cup next to the red. What color do you think that's going to make? That's just gonna make red. Yeah, but right? we don't want that to happen. No, red is another primary color and we're trying to make secondary colors. Yeah. So, we have to put another piece of towel in the yellow. And then yellow and red. What will yellow and red make? Remember it's you have secondary to... color. Orange or green? Orange. Orange? You're right, it will make orange. Juliet, we have one more color to make. One more secondary color. What is it? Um, green. Green, that's right. So we're gonna fold our paper towel. We're getting really good at this paper towel folding by now, right? Yep, crease it in the middle. We're gonna put it in the yellow. Yellow. And then in the empty cup next to the yellow. But how do we make green? What colors make green, Juliet? Yellow and blue. That's right. 
Make sure to crease it in the middle, the blue, and then over into the empty cup. I didn't fold it correctly. Oh, that's okay, we'll wait. And crease it. That's right, yes. Now, Juliet, do you know maybe the hardest part of this whole thing? What? We have to be patient. Uh-huh. What does patient mean? It means that I'm, that's waiting. Yeah, patience is yeah. waiting. That's right. So we have to wait for these colors to mix. And it could take up to an hour or even two hours. So there's a force between the water molecules and the molecules in the paper towel. Both of these sticky forces, adhesion and cohesion, cause the water to travel up the paper towel, moving against gravity. Capillary action occurs because water is sticky thanks to the forces of cohesion. Water molecules like to stay close together, and adhesion, water molecules are attracted and stick to other substances. So Juliet, we're gonna wait about an hour, or maybe even two hours, and keep checking our cups. Okay. Okay, can we be patient? Yep. Okay, you guys have done a great job. We're gonna come back in just a little bit and check on our cups. Julia, it's been about an hour. Should we check on our cups? Sure. Okay. <gasps> Do you have any green in there? Yep. Oh! oh, that's such a pretty color of green. Do you see that? Wow. Let's check out my green right here. Wow! That is gonna be such a pretty color when it's done. So keep watching your cups, and in a couple of hours, all your colors should be nice and mixed, and you'll have a whole color wheel with your cups. Won't that be so fun? Woohoo! So you'll have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue purple. purple, just like our color yeah. wheel. Did you like this project today? Yeah. Have a grown-up take a picture or video of you making your color crawl, and they can post it on social media, either Instagram or Facebook, and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. Woo! Did you like this STEM project today? If so, please like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know every time new Winkle videos come out. Also, check down below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Bye, everybody!